With the ePhone 4, there are four ways to place an outbound call. The most common way is to use the dial pad, or you can program a feature key as a speed dial. You can also access your call history or program one of your feature keys as a callback key. So let's demonstrate. I'm gonna press pound after I enter the phone number so that it sends the digits straight through. If I don't press pound, I have to wait for the system to time out and it's much quicker to send the number through after pressing Thank pound. Thank you for calling ESI. Our offices are closed at this time. All right, so that call went through. Then I can access my call history by pressing this key here, and I can scroll down and find the number that I'm looking for. Notice that there's icons to represent whether it was an outbound call, an inbound call, or the red icon, which means it was a missed call. But I find the number that I want, and I just press call, and it places that call immediately. So we're not going to wait for that to answer. You can also program one of your 36 feature keys or all 36 of your feature keys as a speed dial. So here I have various um, numbers programmed. So I'm just going to press this one that's programmed as ESI. So this is our main number. And we see that call went through. And then I program this key here as a callback key. A callback key will place a call to the last number that your extension handled, whether it was an inbound or an outbound call. So I'm going to press that. It's uh, performing what we commonly know as star 69, and we're not going to wait for that call to go through. It's ringing a phone that's actually behind me. But that is how you place an outbound call. Again, remember that you want to press the pound key when entering digits. And all the phone calls I just made, I was having the audio come over speakerphone. But if I want to use the handset at any time, I can lift the handset.